Welcome. I'm Ian Kennedy. Thanks for spending some time with True Wellness today. And I know we spend a lot of time in biological medicine and biological therapy talking about the many different stressors that we're up against that create illnesses for folks. And I know oftentimes we get caught up in the things that uh, we as practitioners can do for clients to try and help them alleviate and maintain a lesser load when it comes to some of those primary stressors. And I know many of you that are checking in with us today, and maybe some folks that have never visited before, have some understandings of those primary stressors, which are typically the things that make us sick over time. Uh, disease and illness is something that isn't seen as being caused by just one particular thing. Uh, within the confines of biological medicine, it's always a big load on the body that eventually causes us to fall into illness and disease. And those loads usually include heavy metals, which we get from the environment, we get from bad dental work, uh, we get from our food and our water and our air, uh, chemical exposures that uh, we're up against, uh, everything from pollution and air, uh, from industrial uh, manufacturing, all the way down to the medications that people take on a daily basis actually end up in our water supply. And uh, because our uh, water treatment facilities aren't really designed to handle uh, chemicals like that. Uh, they get passed into the water and for a lot of folks on municipal water they're actually on micro doses of all kinds of medications that other people are taking um, and they're even finding uh, micro doses of medications, human medications, in fish now. So that's a huge problem for people, a chemical exposure, uh, as well as lifestyle, uh, scars on the body, actual scars on the skin cause a, a big distress to the system, which is something that uh, our medical doctor helps uh, folks handle as well here and alleviate. Allergies, of course, are a huge thing for people and cause a long-term stressor and an inability to, to digest food appropriately and really get the nutrition that we need. And of course, the ground floor is that nutritional aspect where folks uh, may think they're eating right or trying to do the very best they can and no matter how much we try and eat well uh, it's really hard to do today and so we end up with a poor nutritional quality and it's kind of a cascading event that the body goes through over a period of time. One of the stressors I want to talk to uh, everybody about today is something that you as an individual can really take some control over. And that's why we picked this particular uh, episode to talk about that. Uh, because what we're always interested in is helping people take more control of their health and their wellness. So the subject we're going to talk about today in regards to the primary stressors is the toxic load that we all bring or many of us have brought into our own home. And uh, oftentimes, uh, we spend a lot, of, uh, a lot of time with folks and we talk about uh, you know, how they're feeling and how their body's doing and how they're sleeping. Uh, and sometimes we forget to ask them, what kind of cleaning products do you use? And uh, what kind of uh, dish detergent do you use? And what kind of body uh, soap and hair care products? I don't worry that, about that very much myself, but uh, for a lot of folks, they're daily using products that actually cause a chemical load in the system. And they're coming in to practitioners like myself and, and clinics like True Wellness and trying to detoxify and rejuvenate with nutrition. And oftentimes when they leave, they end up going home and the next morning they take a shower and they end up putting more chemicals in their system than the practitioner was able to get out of them the night before. So it's important that folks really take some time and go through their home and the, the rooms you really want to start with are the kitchen and the bathroom. These are the two most toxic rooms in the house. And most accidents actually occur in the kitchen and the bathroom as well. We're not going to handle the safety aspects of that, uh, of that statistic today. But I do want you to go through your kitchen and your bathroom and start to look at some of the products that we just unconsciously have bought over years and years and years and continue to use because we want to make sure that the environment we live in is nice and clean. The wonderful, beautiful aspect of this at, at this point is there are a lot of products out there today that are environmentally safe. And if they're environmentally safe and they're truly environmentally safe, then they're environmentally safe for you. Because the, we're really talking about two environments. We're talking about the external environment, 
Uh, that's the, the place where you live and the place where you work and the car you drive and all of that and the external environment and the air you breathe. We're also talking about the internal environment and how that external environment influences the internal environment. So we might work at cleaning ourselves up. Each year, maybe we go through a little detox and, and really you know, start January off with a great diet and, and a detox and, and say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be healthier this year than I was last year. But we end up cleaning our homes with products that are highly toxic to the environment and often, of course, to ourselves. So, instead of spending a lot of time talking about specific products and, and naming specific brand names, which I'm not going to do uh, in this blog, uh, I will give you some suggestions, however, to, to make some easy replacements. For instance, a lot of folks use a window cleaner. Uh, that is typically toxic, whether that's an ammonia cleaner or an alcohol cleaner. And uh, you can do the same type of work. You can get the same thing done with an ammonia and water mixture. Uh, not ammonia and water, I'm sorry. With a vinegar and water. You can also, ammonia is another one of the things that they use in the, in, in the uh, cleaning products that is also detrimental to the body. But vinegar and water, a mix of vinegar and water, does the same job. Fantastic on a lot of surfaces, including glass and um, you don't have the toxic load. You also don't have the expense of buying those products that are fairly expensive that are also toxic to the home. So that's an easy one. There's lots of different ways that we can address those um, loads, those toxic loads for people. And one of the things you can do is absolutely email us at True Wellness. You can email us at info at biologicalhealth.com and ask specifically for the uh, environmental evaluation for your home and we can sit down and spend some time and really go through each product individually and see what you're using and, and my wife Kelly Coleman or Jess Stevens our front desk person can really spend some time with you as an individual and say look here's the great replacements for those things dish detergents is another big one and I know for a long time many of us have been aware of dish detergents going into the rivers and causing problems for fish, but it's also very toxic for human beings. And there are, again, great supplements and, and things that we can do to get the same result in washing the dishes, even with environmentally friendly um, dishwasher soaps that are safe for the environment, so that it doesn't come back around because you just can't escape the circle that we're in, right? We're in that circle of life. We're in that food chain. And we might be at the top of the food chain, but we're still in it. And so everything that we put into the environment, everything we put into our skin and on our body ends up in our internal environment. And there, it may do more damage to us than it's doing on the outside. And so it's important that we start to look at what we can take control over. The other thing that most folks get out of their kitchen is their water. And water is something that unfortunately has become very chemically laden in, in, in most of the world at this point. Yes, chlorine is important that they put in the water because they want to kill bacteria. The problem with that is that bacteria is a living thing and so are we. Chlorine is extremely drying and what happens is if you've noticed that you take a shower in chlorinated water and you get out and your skin feels dry and you want to put lotion on but you just spent 15 minutes in the shower being wet and yet when you get out you feel dry and you need lotion. It's actually the chlorine doing that to you and it doesn't just affect your skin. Chlorine is easily absorbed into the body and it actually starts to dehydrate us. It causes problems with the functions of the organs and over a period of time it's another stressor that we're up against. Fortunately, there's lots of things we can do to handle that. If we're on municipal water, there are wonderful filters that handle both chlorine and other chemicals uh, in our water that make sure that you get good, clean drinking water and shower water. So that's another great thing that we can do to take control over our personal environment. But when we go into that kitchen, when you go in and you want to clean your home, you want to start thinking about what residue is left behind on those surfaces that when our kids are running around in their bare feet or our husband comes home in the afternoon after work and puts his feet up on the table for a couple of minutes, that he's not soaking up some toxic load because we're keeping the house real clean. So there are great advantages to using natural products not just for the external environment, but absolutely for our internal environment. And again, if you're interested in getting more information on this and specific to your needs in regards to the products that you use, and you want to be sure that they are safe, or you really are looking for those alternatives 
to, to something that you can use that you know is going to be safe. Absolutely contact us at info at biologicalhealth.com and we'd be glad to get back to you and talk more about how we can help you help yourself in the environment that you live in so that when we try and help that internal environment and help you maintain a health up above and beyond uh, what others think is possible for us then absolutely taking control of your environment is the way to go and we'll help you with the rest I look forward to seeing you real soon. Look for our blogs. It should be out uh, probably once a month, and we'll have great tidbits for you. Thanks so much, and enjoy the day. Stay healthy.